Hello everybody, welcome. Welcome to a lovely rainy, very rainy Sunday for us here. Um, we do apologise if you can't hear us, um, the, the rain is, I want to say pisser pattering, it's not. It's thundering down on us today, so we will do our best to talk as loudly as possible over, it's, stop, it's stopping, it's because they know, God is up there and he's like, oh Becky's on. Yeah, stop raining. I'll, I'll put the plug back in the bath. Um, so yes, um, so if you do do struggle to hear us, we do apologise. We will talk a bit louder um, than normal, which um, Corinne and I don't have a problem with talking quite loudly, <laughs> do we? <laughs> We're not known for being quiet. I'm sure the people in the next door house think, "Oh my God, Corinne and Becky are there again." Gonna go. Ah! Um, but we have a fantastic masterclass. If you saw no, the we don't. Um, sorry, we have a along. Um, if you saw masterclass earlier on, you would see that the gorgeous little box um, that we're going to be doing today, and we're going to be uh, making making our own paper or pattern, no patterns of paper. We are going to yeah. make the decorative paper. Uh, loads of bits and pieces on that. Yes. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. It looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Yes, I'm really enjoying looking forward to showing you this. So this is what we are going to be making. So as you'll see, we've used our cutting cutout die there, but I have got all of the background paper has been used, made using that. Now I don't have. Oh, I don't have the finished sample I was hoping for here. Oh, Julie hasn't found me. I apologise now. I'll see if I can find it. So what happened was was we had a a demo and it was done. Um, with swans it's a beautiful right. box very similar to this made with swans and it was all yellows and silvers it was oh. very very pretty and i thought i like that but i actually like the rose so i thought we shall take inspiration from that mm -hmm. and this is what we have made so you're just going to make a lovely little box and we're going to make the decorative papers and we're going to just make it all up so yeah, that's what we're going to make I'm really looking forward to seeing this. And of course we do have a guest with us we do have the lovely Gemma. Gemma can you hear me Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> Hello, lovely to, lovely to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Is this your first craft along as being a guest, or have you been on before? No, it's my first one, oh. and I'm really nervous. Oh, <laughs> don't be. You're going to be absolutely fine. Um, have you uh, already seen? You've already seen what um, uh, Corinne's going to be making, so you've had a, a sneaky peek about what she's going to be doing. Um, yeah, you're yeah. going to be using the same kind of colours, or are you using your own colour scheme in this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt at doing my own colour schemes. Okay. I think. Excellent. Or are you using one. the rose, or are you using a different one from this collection? I'm going to use the butterfly. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to use do browns and pinks. Oh, nice. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Different. Oh, it's just breaking up. I didn't quite. Yeah. Oh, yeah, something a bit different. different. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's what I love is this is the inspiration, mm -hmm. and then how you finish it off is entirely up to you. You know, you can make it your own way. So yeah, I look forward to seeing yours then, Gemma. Fantastic. Thank you. I'll be following you along, and then I'll obviously just use my own colours. Yep. Yep. Perfect. That sounds good. Brilliant. Lots of people are joining us. Um, Sarah says hi, Corinne, Becky, and Crafters TV Cream Team. <sighs> Suzette says, hi all from sunny uh, Prince Edward Island. Very nice. Um, Colletta says, hello everyone from Arkansas. Uh, Susie on the socials today, and she was saying she was watching Back Masterclass um, and she laughed out loud with the story of um, Ginger Cat's Humphrey. Yeah. Um, if you missed Masterclass, do go back. It is the best story you've ever heard about a cat. Um, we, I, you've got to write it as a book, as okay. far as I'm concerned. Ev everyone needs to hear this. Um, Alicia says, good morning and greetings from Arkansas. I wanted to share that I was a vendor at my job on Friday. I made cards with matching boxes with your products and they sold out. Oh, well brilliant. done. And she says, thank you, CC. We don't need to thank us. You did the hard work because, you know, you made all the, the items. And well done for selling out because I know that, you know, when people do sell things at craft fairs, sometimes it's a bit of a hard slog. It and can you think be. You've poured just sweat and tears and love into these products and people are still like mm, I can buy something like that for a pound down at no pound land or wherever and that's just not true not with the love that you put into them so well done that's brilliant news um Kirin says aloha from Maui Stephen says hello everyone looking forward to this craft along me too very exciting and um, Zoe Carver says after good afternoon from West Sussex the sun is holding out so far today send it up here so you yeah. can get rid of the rain it's that's what we want here. Yeah, it's, free. It's, it's really cold I mean it's a little bit warm actually in the studio but when we go outside we've had to put jumpers on <laughs> 
we've, we've got we, there's a fly in the outside, and we you know we heard that flies don't like the cold air. Neither do we. Um, <laughs> and I have to I have to say it was like walking into a fridge when I went out there for lunch. Um, so Sarah says, my toes are still really cold. Really. Well, we'll have to get our hot water bottles later on. I yeah. think on the sofa and um, Sarah says beautiful craft um, project and um, Evelyn says good morning from sunny, sunny Colorado right we're going to get started okay. otherwise we won't have enough time to we get won't. finished should we have a look at what we need yes should we do, see what we need right so sit see what we need we're going to bring that up for you so the first thing you're going to need is one of your cutting cut out um, your statement cutting cut out dies I'm using regal rose but you can use whichever you want I'm using my just because um, stamp set because I like I just want to use the celebrate but you can mix and match that i'm using my tri blends i'm using dark red and light green but again you can use what you want water reactive ink pads i'm using chinese red honey pot and pine tree my waterproof ink pad is just to stamp my sentiment that's all and i'm going to use some blending brushes rather than my blending pads that's oh. my mind that i've got but i just wanted to get that effect then i'm going to use my rocker block to stamp my fine um, mister sprays my heat tool my guillotine big score my cutting machine uh, so i'm going to use my gemini some red pearls then we're going to use a little bit of our we're going to the next one there we go our clear overlay sparkle pen now i've picked my country lane a4 linen card because i wanted a red and a green and those were just where i could find some nice reds and green I've got my ivory glitter card, multi-purpose. I'm using A4 and A3. Um, if you haven't got A3, you'll st you won't get the box quite as big because okay. you obviously you can only go to eight and a quarter, and I needed it to be nine and a quarter. Craft card. Now the craft card is just what we're going to make the masks with. You right. could use multi-purpose if you want, but I just I've got a, an abundance of craft cards, so I just okay. use that. Foam pads. And then I used all-purpose glue and my Colal Tacky Glue and a bit of stick and spray to make the masks with. Fantastic. So there we go. Yep, looking forward we need. to it. Brilliant. Um, so hopefully everyone has got all of their bits and pieces ready to start crafting along. Um, it's, it's apparently it's really pouring down outside. I'm glad we're inside and not yes. outside. Um, you know, like when, when you were at school and the weather was really nice and the teachers would make you go outside and have your lesson out on the yeah. grass. You don't no, want to do that, that wouldn't, today. That, that wouldn't happen here. Did that not? Apparently, Nicholas says it only happened in Welsh schools. Uh, it happened in all schools, didn't it? Yes, I'm it sure did. it did. It yes. did. Right, should we get started? I think we should. Yep. Right, so we're going to jump straight in with our um, cut-in, cut-out die. So whichever one you're going to use. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to cut four out of my white card, and they're going to make this bit here. So we're going to build them up. Can you see on there? So mm -hmm. make them really nice and thick. So I'm going to cut four out of a piece of white card. So this actually... It's the same length as A4, but it's got a little bit cut off, and I don't know why. So I'm just using it up. So I just want four like that. Now I'm using the outside and the inside die. So it's going to make the whole thing. And this is what I love about um, these dies, is it's going to give you... We were saying earlier about those options, that versatility, when you have the dies together. So this has got the outside and the inside there. So it's going to make the detail. So let's see how that has cut. There we go. Look at that. So if I then just peel that off, there we go. We can just, oh, let's just get my pokey tool and give that a little bit, little bit off there. There we go. We can pop this just through here. There we are. Look, this is cut really, really deeply. So the pressure, I'm going to have to actually just peel that off there. Look, let's do this the easy way. There we go. There Very is, intricate die, isn't there it? There is an easy way and a hard way, and I'm actually making doing this the hard <laughs> way. So let's give that a tap. There we go, right. And then, there we are. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? So that is the first one. Now I want four of those. So I'm going to cut four of those in white. And then I need at least six just out of scrap card so it can be i'm going to do it out of craft but it can be absolutely any scrap card because all you're going to use them for is your mask to make your background paper okay so if you've got if you've got you know a whole box full of scrap card 
just remember to clean your die each time if you've got a whole box of scrap card then just use some of those bits it really doesn't I know I've just said craft card because I had to put something down so we can just pop that one on there and then we're going to cut another one so just try and make sure you've got it in the same place as last one because what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to build them up one on top of each other so if then if you've not got that board around the outside the same yeah they're not going to sit so right. what okay. we're going to do is we're going to build these up so you just need them to be nicely stacked so there we go Donna Yarn says, oh, I can try this with the daisy. Um, yes. I've got that one. That will work really well as oh, well, not it? Oh, that daisy that I mm. just used earlier. Yeah. That would work. Yes. Yeah. And this is what I love. It's all about the inspiration, isn't it? And mm. just coming up with, starting to come up with an idea and then you seeing what you've got and mix and matching it around. So just peeling those off and then just, there we go. Now, these dies do take a few minutes to... Um, just to clean out but you really do need to have a clean die every time um, you think I'd have lots of die of the dies wouldn't you all ready to go but no well you can't really own a craft along can you you've got to no. do it sort of real time well anyway, no everybody you? else has got to clean theirs yeah. out so I might as well do it in real time and show how to clean that out there we go there we are look clean oh the one left in there yeah doesn't take that long does no. it there we are cleaned out but if you don't this die won't be able to you know you're not good you're not going to get the results that you yeah. want can I fit that what can I fit one more in there no why 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 risk it then put the next one on Jeffrey Langley says happy Sunday from 18 degrees sunny here in New Hampshire already at 9 a.m. it's going to be toasty I'm not going to read those ones anymore where it says no, the weather's we don't really need nice to know about those. Colin says yeah Morning, Becky and Corin. Happy Sunday from Florida. Rachel Brown, good afternoon, everybody. Lois says, good morning, everyone from Idaho. Uh, Idaho? Oh, Idaho. No. Oh, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, no. Mm. I know. Oh, you weren't even close then. No. Becky, put your teeth in. Hi, everyone. This is going to be an absolutely beautiful day here in Chicago area. Today is going to be 29 degrees. Oh, it's from Rhonda. Oh. It's, I, I, I reckon it's just, just chilly, is what I'm going to say. What, how, how cold is it, Nicola? 18 degrees? Not Our a chance. That is rubbish. Not a chance. 18, in, 18 inches underneath rain, I would have said. 18 inches of rain that's fallen in the last hour. No, that's no, there's no way it's 18 degrees. Get past oh. information. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna switch my phone off now. Um, I don't know why that said that. Um, sorry about that. It was getting you uh, the weather forecast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did it first. I thought oh, Julia did. Um, Teresa said, "Good morning. This would be very pretty as a paper piece. There's yes. paper pieces because it's quite big pieces that you're taking out there, aren't there? Yes. Oh yeah, we paper piece with these dies before. So mm -hmm. yeah, you can do that. There you go. Look, we've got three. So we just mm -hmm. need one more in the white, and then the next ones are going to be for your mask. Now the only reason I'm saying have cut six for your masks yeah. is because." What I found was when I, because I wanted to do a whole sheet of A4 at once, and I found that if you only had one or two, it just takes ages because you en you can go too far with the ink, right? Because and then you won't have white space left to right. to put the next ones on. Does that make? Does that follow? You yeah, you yeah, need, it does. You need to cover quite a large area with the masks. So there we go. On, Lillian Kwok says, hello Corinne, hi Becky, um, I think you take the bad weather up to the north because it's dry in London with intermittent sunshine. Okay, Aww. thank you. Yeah. What was that song, always take the weather, the weather with you? Yeah. Yeah. Always take the weather. I don't know who that was that sang wow, that Nicola, song. Wow Nicola, it's just like listening to the radio. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Album's coming out in three weeks, excellent. Has it got um, Crafty Man on it as well? Have you taken some of Ben? Oh, there is a duet with Ben. Oh, excellent. Looking forward to that. Endless love. <laughs> <laughs> it's endless, endless something. They, they, were, they were messaging a lot yesterday. It's just, well, that's all I'm going to say. There was, a lot, there was a lot of messaging going on. What, between Nicola and Ben? Uh -huh. Was there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to start. You're going to start the rumour, aren't you? 
<laughs> it's already started. Oh dear. So I've got three there, and then I've got my fourth one here. Oh, and then what I also need to do is cut one mat layer. Forgot okay. about that. So once we've done that, we've got four here, and then we're going to have one with just the mat layer, so I can put that out to the side. We'll do that so we can do those in order. And then this is going to give me that effect, you know, like um, of a wood chip element when we put them together especially with the you know the glue making it even more rigid so just peel them off very gently there we go there we are look so I've got my four now so let's just cut that matte layer so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut one with just the matte layer die okay let's just trim that out now if anybody just so that people can get ready I will bring on when we start to do all our die cutting um our cut guillotine cutting mm -hmm. for all our mats and layers I've got it all written out and I'll put I'll put it I'll put it on the on my mat so people can do a screenshot but if anybody wants it it's on did I get as far as my Facebook and my Instagram pages it's definitely yep. on my Instagram I thought I did my Facebook as well but I wouldn't like to swear but there we go so now I've got those five for a minute so I'm going to put those to one side for a minute and we'll do those next we'll we'll build those up in a minute and now we need now you can cut like I say you can carry on with your using your multi-purpose if you want to but I've got an, a lot of craft cards so and also I think craft cards are quite nice for doing things like um, mask with it's a bit more fibrous mm -hmm. so you know you I don't it takes the ink you know it reacts well to inking over it, it doesn't um, dis disintegrate and stuff so I don't know just when I'm doing stuff like masks and stencils it just seems to me the natural thing to do to turn to a piece of craft card mm -hmm. I don't know why but it's what I always do so just poking those bits out I, I you could do a dye brush on this but I think it needs needs your pokey tool for this so let's pop those on there and then we can put my craft card on now, if you were doing this away from the craft longer, you could even cut even more than six, but we're going to just cut six out for now. So we're going to put that one on there, just like Chrissy that. Chrissy Hughes says, if you use parchment paper between the die and the paper, they won't stick. Little bits won't stick in there. You can. Um, yeah. What Some if you use dryer sheets? Does that help? She uses dryer sheets. Yeah, you, you, there's lots of different ways to do these, you know. And I used to use, um, I used to use ways to do that. There's lots of lots of different ways, but um, I suppose with the pressure, you always, you know, you are going to end up with those little bits stuck in there because yeah. you've got so much pressure covering that exactly. Gemini, aren't you? I mean, they come out lovely out of the craft, don't they? Mm. So. I really like craft card and, and white card together. Yes. Oh, craft card and cream looks mm. nice as well just it's quite natural doesn't it? it it works really well um, and yeah there's loads of different ways to, to use it and and that's what's great you know experiment with what you've got and uh, you, everything that we're doing now is just for sort of inspiration and you know I know I was here when Craig did the craft along the Michelle had prepped the other day using the once upon a time thank mm. you and then I saw everybody's takes on those later on in the day they were posting those it was brilliant to see because there was you know so many different collections being used mm. so many, you know different colorways it was absolutely lovely to see so we're now on number two of this I think the other reason I did it in the craft was so that I could differentiate between the ones that I want to build yes. up and the ones I want to use as a template yeah it's quite nice to have that that differential isn't it so that you know you're not using the wrong ones mm. um, there we go there we go we can then I'm getting random comments in my <laughs> ear. Yesterday, Lillian, Lillian said, I was talking about party food yesterday because yeah. obviously there were lots of parties. Well, I think actually today is the day of all the street parties. It is. Today is, it? Today yeah, is officially the, day. the coronation. Um, but we were talking about party food because here we had some party food to celebrate the coronation. And Lillian sent this amazing um, charcuterie board, um, but it was, um, it was shaped like an owl. 
um, not the board, but actually all the, the components, all the oh, takushi meats. Oh, made, No, made, made like an owl. It was really clever. And owl and crackers, owl and crackers and cheese, meats and crackers and cheese in the shape of an owl. It's really, really clever. Um, and apparently we've had another photo sent in um, of some other sort of party food. So we'll have to show you that a little bit later on. But let us know what your, you know, what, what do you take to a party? What is the, what do you bring to the party? As in like party food? Is it your, you know, do you make mint creams? Or you make peppermint creams when you go to a party? Do you remember those? Did you used to make, make those? Pepper, peppermint cream. Um, I used to make brownies. sweets at Christmas with mm. my, my granddad. She used to save up the box, her chocolate boxes during the year. Yeah. And then we'd make sweets. Did you used to do that? Yeah. Save your boxes yeah. during the year. Yeah. Then. Peppermint creams. Peppermint creams. Yeah. Stuffed dates. Yes. Um, what did you stuff your dates with? What, marzipan. Mars mint yeah. ma mint flavoured marzipan. Mint flavoured marzipan. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not sure about that. Um, um, what was the other one we used to do? Oh, uh, like um, a coconut ice. Oh, coconut ice. Love yeah. coconut ice. And then we used to make boxes of all these at Christmas. It was before the days when you could buy six tons of chocolate yeah. in a box for four pound fifty and stuff. Yes. Then um, on t kids' TV, like Blue Peter, which is where I always wanted to work, and um, when I grew up, they used to make like mint um, peppermint cream. So you used to do that as like part of their kind of crafty thing that they used to do yeah. didn't they, in the afternoon. Yeah, I think we used to do peppermint creams mm. as well. Yeah. Uh, let us know what your, um, you know, your item is that you bring. I, I'd love to see what the picture is that we've been sent of. Um, <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Look at that. That's a turkey made out of vegetables. That is brilliant. That's that, brilliant. That is something for me to make for my vegetarian daughter. She'd love that because she doesn't eat turkey anymore. Um, that is brilliant. Oh, I love that. You could say to her, do you want turkey for the party? Yeah. She could say, no, mum. And you say, but made out of carrots and all sorts. You it's need Nicola to send you that picture so yeah, you can remember. Yeah, I do. I need that picture, definitely. Oh, well done. Um, yeah, can please can find yesterday's. Yesterday's, because, yeah, yes, yesterday's um, was very good as well. Um, yeah, let us know. Um, Lois says, I bring myself to the party. Oh, that, that's perfect. That, 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 that's all anyone needs. I've seen some amazing coronation trifles. Oh, yeah. And it's not like coronation chicken, but, you know, yeah. trifles. <laughs> <laughs> trifles. That's, like, that's like that episode of Friends. trifles with Union Jack flags on the top. Oh, yeah. Made out of... Like fruit and blueberries Fruit and, and blueberries or sprinkles and... Yeah, there have been some amazing ones. Um, trifles and cheesecakes. Mm. Apparently, they work really well. Um, but yeah. My friend did message me. She said she'd made elderflower cordial to make elderflower jelly which they then put into a trifle with um elderflower and lemon and ginger nuts Ooh. there was a lot there's a lot going on in that but i bet it was nice i imagine it was delicious um, yeah. i have to have some hopefully there'll be a little bit left over from when i um got back oh lillian said she didn't make the owl she just found it and thought we'd like to see it she doesn't eat meat um we're gonna we're gonna show you what it looks like lillian you should have just taken that as being yours look at that oh wow isn't that brilliant <laughs> oh, that's fun. I don't know what he's sitting on. Are they bits of pepperoni? He's, no, it's rolled salami. Yeah. Delicious. That that's is good. very clever. Very nice. But if you only eat cheese, I suppose you could have a snowy owl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Out of... Or a turkey made of vegetables. Oh, no, turkey yeah, made of vegetables. You are quite yeah. correct there. Right, I've got four. I mean, this isn't the most scintillating to watch, I'm sorry. But once we've done this bit, it will really really get fun we can get to the bit does um Gemma look is she getting you getting on all right there Gemma she's doing oh, did you say we needed four say, well, sorry did you say we needed four of these I've used I used four for my cutout to build up and then I'm getting six for my um stenciling right okay but I've yours are quite big yeah. yours are quite big so I think so Four or six would be brilliant for your stenciling, yes. Right, okay. Well, I've got four. I'll just, couple, I'll just cut a couple more out just to make sure I've got enough. Yeah. So you'll have ten all together? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Right, okay. yeah, that's brilliant. Oh, she's way ahead with us. But that butterfly looks a little bit bigger, doesn't mm -hmm. it, than yeah. ours? But, yeah, it should still work e equally as well, so, yes. Terry Anderson says, I made a meathead cheese ball for Halloween once. I don't know what that is. What's a cheese ball? I know someone asked said yesterday, what's a cheese ball? Um, I mean, no I like a cheese board. A cheese ball. Uh, no, not 
I mean, I ate. I had, I had a bowl of cheese balls last night, didn't I? What, you did. And little crisps, little round cheesy crisps. Um, but I don't think that's what it is. I don't know what a cheese ball is. Or oh, have you got a photo? We'd like to see that. Linda says she takes deviled eggs to a party. Ooh, I like deviled, deviled eggs. eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like deviled eggs. Um, I also like angels on horseback. They're like dates. Devils on horseback. They devils on horseback. Devils right? on horseback, not angels. Angels on horseback are whelks wrapped in bacon. No one, no one likes that. Um, like a, a bit like a, a bit like a winkle. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a kind of like little shellfish, like a cockles. Yeah. <laughs> it is a seafood based dish, but yeah, I like I like de devils, devils, devils on horseback. Which is dates, dates wrapped in bacon and then roasted, aren't they? Mm. I, I do like it. I do like a, I do like a date. Oh, I love a prune. Uh, she loves. Oh, I eat prunes out of the jar. I know. Uh, no, Dry I can't prunes. Do that. Oh, they're my favourite. Prune? On porridge. Oh, prunes Abs on porridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you uh, my favourite. <laughs> yeah, prunes not not the thing for me. Oh, I don't think. I love I love a good prune. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, an oyster. Oh, okay. A Angels on horseback, oysters wrapped in bacon. Oh. But mm. what's the ones with whelks then? What's a whelk? Well, they're like little, you have to. Are whelks the ones you're supposed to take out with a little pin? Yeah. Yeah. A whelk, <laughs> mate. <laughs> oh, a cheese ball is like a ball of soft cheese, a lot of times rolled in nuts and signed with, uh, served with crackers, so you can spread your cheese on your crackers. Oh, I like that idea. I'm going to make some cheese balls. Oh um, wow! I, I do like a, I do like, I do like cheese. What's if, your favourite cheese? We were just talking about this a few um, minutes ago, oh, weren't we? I, li uh, I like Comte or Comte. Um, oh what, what? Comte or Comte cheese, um, or a very strong mature cheddar. I don't know what a Comte. A bit French. It's made with um, sheep's milk, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's quite a hard cheese. It's nice. A little bit like um, a kind of Parmesan, oh, without right. that kind of zinginess. It's delicious. It's quite smooth, I like that. I, 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 I always think cheese is a, such a, um, an underrated item. And it forms underrated one of, food stuff. Yeah, it forms one of my, the major food groups in my house. Does it for yeah. everyone or just for you? Mainly for me and Tim. Um, if the children are away, um, we're like, kids are away. You know what that means? Cheese and crackers for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brenda says she made trifle yesterday and living on the leftovers today. Oh, oh! Terry says cheese ball is made from mostly cream cheese, and you spread it on crackers. I formed it into a skull mask and covered it in, in prosciutto to make it look scary. Oh, that does look. That does sound like quite a good thing for Halloween. Yeah, I like that idea. Right, I've got six. Let me just clean this, and then we can move on. So, like I say, the the longest bit is getting your your dye clean, and I don't want to put that away. I know this is mine from home. I know Julia's put me them out, but I brought mine from home because I wanted to make sure I got it. And uh, that will annoy me if I come to use it and it's well, really... all the little bits are still in it. Yeah, because it's not one that you can just drop and all... Some of them mm. I can drop on the table and all the bits fall out, but this one doesn't work like that. There we go. Right, so let me pop that away because as far as I'm aware, that's the die cutting done. So you can turn off your die cutting machine. We're not going to need those again. So let's get all these bits up. Look at that. That's all a lot of stuff coming out of those, isn't there? But they are such a, a sort of fine kind of filigree yeah. dye, aren't they? They are, they are. Right, OK. So we've got these ones here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do... Which one? Yes, I'm going to do, do, do it the right way. Right, I'll do it the right way. So I'm going to take this, but yes, I know why I need to do this next. So I've got six of these, and I've got a piece of couple of pieces of copier paper and I'm just going to turn them over onto their backs. Now, we just need these to be repositionable. So all I'm going to do is take those and I've got my stick and spray. Mm -hmm. I did say stick and spray would be really useful to have. It looked pretty like that. Doesn't that look it pretty? Does look, it looks lovely. That looks really pretty. I'm impressed with that. Just like that. And then I'm just going to spray these just to make them so that I can um, use them. Now, remember, you stick and spray just takes about 30 seconds to go tacky. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there we go. 
There we go. There we are. Make sure you do that in a ventilated space. <laughs> yep. And as Jan says, we've got the window at the back, so you're absolutely fine. <laughs> so just leave those, just give those, I'm just lifting them to make sure that they're not sticking to my copier paper. And then I'm going to just to put those, so I'm just giving them a few seconds. There we go. And while that does that, I'm going to get a sheet of my, an A4 sheet of my multipurpose card. There you go. So just regular multipurpose, nothing fancy there at all. And then as these go tacky, I'm just going to put them on to my cardstock. Now, don't worry about, make sure they go in different sort of orientations. Don't mm -hmm. put them all, we don't want them to look like soldiers on parade. Yeah. We want them to look a bit natural. So I'm just coming in. And again, they can come off the end of your cardstock. It'll look really nice. Sort of fill in some of the little gaps. We can pop those on there. Now you can see why I've done six, because straight away, I've, even six hasn't filled up my sheet. Mm. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to sort of do this bit of card, try not to come, to, what I'll do is I'll do this bit, yeah. then I'll come down here, then I'll move the next ones on, and then the next ones on, just okay. to try yeah. and keep them a little, you know, so I didn't have to spend time cutting out even more. So I'm just going to pop that down here. Now, all I'm going to do, is could do actually I've just I've got some glue on here I'm just going to get rid of my glue now if you've got blending um, to our regular blending tools you can those will work perfectly for what we're going to do but I had to go with some blending brushes and I got mm -hmm. a really nice effect so that let's get rid of that that's got glue on and we're going to put that so I'm just going to get my three um, ink pads so I picked Chinese red mm -hmm. just there and then I've got Honey Pot. Again, these can be any colours you want. And I've got Pine Tree. I'll probably will need more ink than this, but this will get me going. And then I've got three um, blending brushes. Green, yellow and red. There we go. So I okay. don't get them mixed. And all I'm going to do is pick some ink up. Blend it into there, and then I'm just going to blend through here. Just like that. Look at that. How about just like that? And then we're going to come up with the next ones. Just try not to sort of make them all even, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. I'm trying to make sure I do slightly different bits. And then just blend through there and you don't have to limit yourself to three colors sometimes i think three colors can be quite hard because you can almost find um ooh, ooh, sorry um, sometimes you find <laughs> you end up with a bit where you can't get a fresh color with <laughs> oh, sorry, that's, that's, a bit of, that's a bit of a shock for you corey wasn't it um, we're going to have to show everybody what we were, we, we were really, we were really quite frightened me. by this is um, terry anderson's um, <laughs> this is her cheese ball with the ham that she did for Halloween. That is one of the best Halloween party foods I've ever seen. That is absolutely terrifying. Terrifying. I looked up and Terry was, was on the screen. <laughs> I looked up and was on the screen. That, that is like, incredible. What has happened? What clever idea. Oh, I like... Well, it's a very clever idea. It is a really clever idea and, and quite scary. Possibly not for children's... Oh, no, actually, children would love that, wouldn't they? Let's be honest. Um, yes, yeah, so wow. that, that was a bit of shock for you, Corinne, seeing that. Nobody <laughs> warned me. <laughs> Nobody warned me. <laughs> Right, I'm just making sure that I'm blending those colours all the way through. Um, now, you see, this is where sometimes three can be quite hard because I'm running out of making sure my colours aren't touching. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'm going to bring that red one down a little bit to there. And like I said, you are probably going to need more ink. And can you see, I'm not going far off there. Yeah. I'm just keeping it to that side for now. There we go. Now I can come in with... Oh, let's put a bit more down. There we go, just... Now, and then it's up to you what effects you want to create. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to do, um, you know, I'm going to um, 
do some faux bleaching with it. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do um, sprinkle on some darker inks. We're going to do all sorts of different effects. And then, you know, but it's up to you how how far you want to go with this. So can you see, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm stopping, um, I'm stopping over here just as I go past that flat, just as I go past that first flower. So we can bring that in. That looks beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Just popping that on there. There we are. Right, now, once I've got that I'm happy with how um, they're, they're cover up because obviously you're never going to be able to come back now we're going to do some faux bleaching on this so just remember you're going to um it's going to become a bit lighter so don't worry about getting it quite dark because like i say we're gonna we're gonna make it a little bit paler so once you're happy with that bit then just take you unless you've cut out lots of these to cover the whole sheet but look at that that looks great. It looks really lovely, nice. doesn't it? Yeah. So then, come on and put them. The I found that the adhesive allowed me to do this no problem whatsoever. You you've got plenty. You know that stick and spray really has no. Mm, now you see that I don't like that. No 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 no. Let's go that like way. Like you say, you don't want them like soldiers on parade. You don't. You like you want them like um, girls on a hen party. That's yes. <laughs> I like that's a much better analogy much better analogy so all that for now I'm only going to move three yep and then I can come on to the next bit and then once I'm happy with that I can move these last ones to do mm -hmm. to do there so that's you good. can apply this kind of technique to all sorts of other patterns couldn't you and I think you that, that's a great idea really beautiful yeah I mean yeah whatever um die you know you need um uh a, a die cut that's going to sort of be quite open but um, as somebody said they were going to use their daisy die mm -hmm. that one the one that I used earlier yep. that would work really well I am um, I, I was laughing at a comment I just read um, Sylv says <laughs> What else? I made it. I have told this. I made two lemon cakes and carved them in the shape of a duck. The a head duck. was a duck. Okay. Yeah. A duck. The uh, the head was separate and stuck on with cocktail sticks. It looked like just like a real duck, until we drove down to Seven Oaks and the head fell off. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it wasn't for a child's birthday party. <laughs> and Terry says that um, that sort of a design she took the idea from Pinterest Halloween is big in the US I've made a brain shaped jello before oh wow Ooh, that sounds quite good oh do you keep them coming it's quite uh, it's quite inspiring because we've not we should adopt this kind of idea with the party food we've got outside it's not quite the same is it's it it's not is it no we can't really get that far with um, there's some scones and jam scones jam and yeah. um, some and mini scotch, scotch eggs, eggs. Yeah. <laughs> nah I think you're going to struggle right like i say three colors is quite hard to make sure that you don't overlap. you know yeah that they overlap so you know just go with as many colors as you want so once i've got to there before i go any further i'm going to peel these off i'm going to put these up here i really like that effect it's good isn't it yeah now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do even more onto the effect but if you want to sort of what i call the if you like the clean lines then you, you know i'll show you where you can stop you don't have to you don't have to carry on going we've got an extra um we've got an extra, an extra guest. a guest on the craft along <laughs> um <laughs> with your cats Gemma. um what's your cat called <laughs> Oh, we're cutting out a little bit there. I might have to come back to you in a couple of moments. I love the fact cats always like to get involved, don't they? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that cat is getting right in there, right involved in everything. You're going to have cat paw prints all over your, um, your, your card that you're making. <laughs> Bless. Right. 
I knew. I, I knew. Called, oh, my daughter's cat's called Simba. 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 I like that name. What was your? So it was Puss Puss and then Humphrey. Did you have another cat? You got a cat now? No. Yeah, Humphrey I, I was the first sure. one who got lost. Yeah. So he was replaced by Puss Puss. Yeah. And then we had Tiptoes. Tiptoes. <laughs> Uh, I do like um, animals' names. There was um, a, a, a deed, sort of thing, something I read, and they said um, they were in the vets, and somebody said, Tinkerbell Jenkins! And this huge Rottweiler um, <laughs> walked in to be um, no, looked at by the vet. Yeah, you I met somebody, and he kept calling his dog, yes, it was a pit bull, and he kept calling it Sweetness, and I think that was its name. Oh. Sweetness, it was this big, it was this... Big burly. Big burly, I thought, oh, that's sweet. But yeah. Yeah, he was calling it sweetness. I thought, oh, bless you. There we go. Right, I think that should do. So now we can mm -hmm. take all of these off. I c and if you if you are careful, these will just stick down. You know what I mean? They'll still stick down just to be used another time if that's what you want. So we can put those on there and then... There we go. That looks gorgeous. Now, if you wanted to, you could use it like that. Yeah. I'm going to show you this. So what I have done is I've done faux bleaching and mm -hmm. then I've done some splattering as well. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of, you can see it's taken away the pure white. Yeah. If you like that, leave it at that. It's, okay. This is your project. It's mm -hmm. everybody's own project. So I really, you know... They can do it, you know, do it how they like, please. So all I'm going to now, when I do, when I do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going. I I spray it into my hand because I sometimes find that the spray mister, the brilliant spray misters, but for the for faux bleach it can be a little bit too fine. Right. So by doing it into your hand, you sort of I don't know if you can see. I'm getting bigger spots. Okay. I can always just spray a little bit over. Then I'm just going to get a piece of kitchen towel or you can just get another piece of paper, you know, a piece of um, copy of paper. Now, way faux bleaching works, the longer you leave it, can you see, yeah. the more that colour is lifting. So if you spot any bits that you've not got any, you can always go in. But the longer you leave it, the whiter the bits are going to be when you come to do it. So once you get to the point, so all you're going to do is stop it. Don't rub. Just, just blot. Pat. And you can see, look, all those blobs. There we go. Just on there. And then lift that up. Lovely. I like that. There. So what I'm going to do now, grab my heat gun. We're not going to do, be doing any embossing or anything. The heat gun that I said you needed in the toolkit is literally for drying and what you'll also notice is is I haven't cleaned up this ink and that's quite quite deliberate so we can pop this onto here and I do find if you can dry it between because we're going to do our splattering technique next mm -hmm. um, so if you dry between you're less likely to have running because yeah. if if you splatter onto them and it hits a puddle of water it's going to be a you're not going to get that sharp crisp effect so that's the only reason. If it at all sort of cockles and buckles, then just have a go at drying it from the back. And what I actually did with mine is once everything was dry, I, put, I ran it through my die cutting machine between two sheets of plain paper with no dies. Okay. And that just, it just flattens it back out again. Okay. Which is quite useful when you're making a paper like this for mats and layers. Yeah. Because as you can see, it's sort of curling up a little bit at the edges. Let's just get that bit. Um, right, I'm happy with that's dry enough for what I need to do now. Okay, I've got a question. Okay. Um, well, two questions, actually. Terry Bowers says, I've um, got two questions, please. Why didn't you use the masking tape and why did you not pull the ink directly from the ink pad? Yes, you could use mask it tape. Yeah. Um, and I thought about doing that, but I thought not everybody's got it. Right, good and I thought more yep. people are likely to have a repositionable glue mm -hmm. and that than they have a mask it tape. And that was the only reason right. to do that. And also with the mask it tape, I find, because it's so thin, I'd have had to have cut enough to do it in one... one it's harder to than... lift. Right, OK. They do lift, because I'd have been going over with ink. Yeah. I'd have been almost burnishing it down. Right. And just pure... It was pure choice. If you've got... Um, 
if you've got masking tape then yeah that would work too that would work too right i forgot to pick up my and with the ink pads yeah rather, um rather than why would you put them uh, on a glass mat rather than i just find you get better pick up yeah no other reason than that i just find the color picks up better i i often work from my ink pad yeah i've got the fly you've got the fly now yeah there's one fly in the whole of the building and it's just chasing us as it we is. go. Wherever we go, it, the, the fly's there. Wanting to join in. So it's a crafty fly. That's what it is. That's what we understand it to be. Terry Anderson says, I will be making this craft along. It is so pretty. Saved to my Corin folder. Ah, oh, thank you. I don't know who's had that sparkle pen. Lip. Well, come off. Could it be Lily? Lily was using it yesterday. I can't get that off. I'll give Try it to you. Having you one have a new one right this is a new one so it can hit that. that that's it get the ball bearings going that one hadn't been there we go wake it up shake it to wake it there we go now you can see this is new one because it's still got the band in mm -hmm. so when we've done that we can then take the band out and that's going to pierce through there and tighten that back up and then what am i doing wrong i don't know do you want to oh. Okay, I was trying to open the wrong bit. <laughs> How oh long have I been using these sparkle pens? <laughs> okay, I'll go back to the old one. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some on my mat. Yeah. I'm gonna pick this up and then we're gonna we're gonna have a break after this. So I've just put some sparkle onto here, pick it up, and then with I'm just gonna get couple of bits just to save save my worktop a little bit if I'm at home and I don't know why I didn't think to bring it I've got an A4 um, storage box that I put the lid up on the side and I have it with kitchen roll in so that I don't get any bits in so it's on the end of here and then oh, I'll just pick up some more on that I'm just going I have to do it that way I'm that handed can you see just use oh I can feel it splashing gonna I mean t-shirt you can see it just splashing on there and all of that ink will now have a lovely sparkle to it excellent so once you've got to there i'm going to go to the next color and it's amazing how quickly your sparkle brush doesn't um doesn't absorb the color you know you just it's on the nib that's all pick that up then we can come on with that one i just it just looks pretty having the the sparkle in there yeah and almost like a diff different texture as well. Yeah. Um, Donna Yam, sorry, Donna Yam says, if you don't have tacky spray, what could you, what, how could they be adhered? Um, trying to think, what's the other easiest things to do? Um, you could cut them out of like like a masket roll, yeah. or you can get. Um, Stencils, yeah. stencil masking. Could tape. you cut them out of acetate and then use them? But they, we've still got to stick them down there, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. You need some sort of repositionable um, adhesive. But um, if you've got like, I've got a really wide roll of masking tape at mm -hmm. home, um, and I could probably get one of these out of masking tape. Yeah. Um, but you just wouldn't be able to reposition it each time, yeah. maybe. You, like you said, At do as many the day, as the whole I suppose sheet. you could do it just out of the card and just do one area at a time and just hold it really carefully. Mm -hmm. But it runs a risk. Yeah. I would really say if you want to do things like this and you want to do some of these techniques, then it is worth getting some repositionable spray. Now, can mm -hmm. you see all of those? So you don't have to go mad with with it all um, you can just add little bits of sprinkles but I should just I just want to put a little bit more red on and then I get our George to come in nice and close and show you that when I've just done ah there we go a bit more red there look a little bit and then I will dry that while we have a quick break so there we go that should do just clean off the nib of your sparkle pen and then George if I bring that to the middle can you Break, look at that can you see mm. all of those different textures so you've got your ink you've got your white you've got your your bleach effects and you've got your sparkles just remember this is going to be trimmed down mm -hmm. so you're just going to see elements of this yeah i love it there i really th th that's definitely a technique i'm going to adopt there very very nice okay i'm just going to dry that okay and uh, 
let you do what you need to do okay no problem um so we um we've got one picture to show you um before we go to a break and um, so this uh, when we're talking about bringing things to a party these are jello shots wow i want to come to a party with you rosalind look at all those jello shots <sighs> yeah all different flavors what would be your favourite flavour of jello? Alcohol in, if they're shops. Yeah, I would have thought so. Vod they're only they're vodka, aren't they? Yes. Says Nicola, yes. like she knows. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, need to get a taxi home. There you go. Celebrate <laughs> with Stacey. You certainly would be, wouldn't you? That looks impressive. <laughs> that really is quite cool. Well, whether you're going to have a jello shot or a cup of tea or a glass of water, uh, we're going to go to a quick break and we'll see you back in a couple of moments. Many of our viewers bring it up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking dough it might not work as well because I put too much. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me um, me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you pink. just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry, yes, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? <laughs> it was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You right? I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Do all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> 
There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. I love that. It makes me laugh every time I watch it, especially the bit when you've got your dress on inside out. Yeah. Have you got any clothes on inside out today? I hope not. Pictures <laughs> on the outside, so... <laughs> Yeah, jeans look the right way. I've got pockets on the outside, so... <laughs> oh, it's always funny to watch those bits back. Um, we're going to carry on we with are. the um, craft along, aren't we? Yep, so this is all nice and dry. I've actually just run mine through my um, Gemini, just with my plates, a couple of sheets of copy of paper, and now you can see it's nice and flat, or flat, more or less flat again. The flies joining us. So I'm going to put that to one side, and I'm going to work on these die cuts. So I have just got two pens. I've got my dark red blend and my light green. Now I'm not going to do too much fancy colouring on these, but I only need to really mainly colour one. So I'm going to go in with my light green on the leaves. So I've already worked out where it's going to be green and where it's going to be red. So the leaves are going to be green, and then, and I'm making sure I go right off. I'm, I'm using my brush pens because then I can come right off the end end of them and I can get some lovely effect. You know, I'm not going to get white die cut. So I've come through there just to here. And then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the darker. You don't have to do shading, but I do like doing a little bit of shading on there. Now that looks a little bit pale towards the end. So let's just come up, uh, blend that through. Just gone a little bit pale there. There we go. I might just go straight in. This one's obviously look, the light, light green seems to be our pens that run out the fastest. I think it's because we all like it and we all mm. use it a lot. Like the um, ice grey. Yeah. Let's go in with that and then just add a little bit of the shady colour. Now we only, like I say, we only really need to do this to one of the die cuts. Do that, there we go. And then I'm going to go all over the rest of it with the red. Let's do that. There you are. You can see just colouring in. And again, making sure I come over the edges because I don't want white bits showing at all. I made a conscious decision that the red is going to be on the top here so that the leaves look like they're coming out from behind. Oh, OK, yep. Yep. And you see just there, look. It, yep. so it looks like the leaves are coming from behind. It's up to you. Just make sure you don't miss any bits. Sometimes, you know, if you're colouring like this, it's often easier to colour on black card rather than white because you're colouring white, a white card on a white piece of paper. Mm. number of times you lift it up and then you suddenly see a bit you've missed. So the reason I'm going it like this is so that I get, I get the ink all the way down the outside of the die cut as well. I want it to cover all over. Just like that now if you want to because i've used the lightest red so this is dr1 you can go in and add a few little bits of highlights if you want but i found it doesn't show overly much so if i showed you that you know you see straight away you can see look you couldn't see those bits those white bits when it was on the card as soon as you lift it up you can if you want to just go in and add a little bit of highlight just put a little bit in the centre, just round there, just round the outside, there we go. Just where it's more closed in, it would just be a little bit darker. And then, there we go, just blend those out. There we go. So this is multi-purpose card, so it's not a card that has been really set up for blending. So there we are. So that's what we've got just there. Great. Pretty, doesn't it? Yeah. Really lovely. pretty. So what we need to do, I'm trying to think of the best order to do this in. What I want to do then is come on here and I'm just going to go back to my ink pads. Now you could do it with your pens, but I want to just get a bit lighter. So I'm just going to come on to here and I'm just going to put a little bit of green on the edge here and on there oh I've got a piece of tape on there look thinking why is the ink not going on it's because there's a piece of my low tap tape there we go look at that colour that in and a little bit of the red just in the centre 
Look at that, my splatters have gone on it. Have you managed to get your hands on the new brushes? Not new yet. blending brushes, not they, yet. They haven't launched, they have they haven't they launched yet? yet. Yeah, Tuesday they're going to be. We had the first look with those yesterday. I have the ink pads because I actually did a, a swap with Lily because mm -hmm. um, I think she was in today and I was in yesterday, but I'm in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we swapped yesterday and today. So I actually have the ink pads, the stencils and the stamps. But at that point, the um, brushes weren't ready to launch. Can you see now? That's what I've just done. Oh, it looks just lovely. Um, the, stents, the brushes weren't ready to launch, so I didn't get those, so I need to get those. Right, I'm just going to go in with my sparkle pen. Right there. And I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle on here. So all you have to be careful, my sparkle pen's not very clean. Let's see if I can get that. That's nearly empty. I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to block because I don't want to move that ink around. But I just want to get a little bit of sparkle on there. So I'm just sort of blotting, squeezing and blotting and getting, again, these, all these little bits, you've got choices whether you want to do them. Mm -hmm. you know, they're all optional extras, shall we say, yeah. and it's entirely up to you. So all I need to do now is just, um, I've done that now so it can be drying for a minute. So just give that a quick blast. Can you see that sparkling and shimmering? It's pretty. And remember, this is going to go over the top of that. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be too exact at all. Yep. You're only going to see hints of it through there. So let's just, this just needs to be dry, otherwise the glue is not going to stick to it. There we go. Pop that through there. There we go, I think that should, that feels nice and dry. So all we need to do now is, move all this out of the way, is now layer these up. Now we will have to come in with a little bit more um, glue. Now it's entirely up to you how you want to do these, whether you want to do this, try this with your, if you want to try it with your dotty tape pen, but what you want to try and make sure is that you don't ooze glue over because we want, we're going to have to go in with our pens again. So let's have a go with the dotty tape pen. I did it with wet glue when I was at home. So just line these up. Now because your inner die and your outer die are separate, every time you use them, there will be a slight difference. So can you see on here, I can just see a little bit of just there because there was a slight difference. Don't worry about that. That's what we're going to go in with our pens and we're going to hide all that in a minute. This actually gets it easier to put dotty tape pen on the more layers I get. It's getting more and more robust. If you want to do it with wet glue, do it very carefully, but just try and make sure the glue doesn't come out because we're going to um, go in with our pens again in a minute. I've got a little bit of, uh, I'm just going to take that bit off. That's the bit that broke when I was taking it out of the die. So if I look at this one, I didn't line that up very well at all, did I? Let's try again. Put those in just there. It's better line that up and then there you can see that's starting to build up nicely mm -hmm. and you can see it's becoming quite but i'm going to do one more that's oh, getting much easier now to do nothing's moving because it's getting it's quite sort of solid qu quite solid and then the final one and again if you wanted to do more you could depends on how much you know how how um rigid you want your embellishment to be so we've got that now at the moment we've got actually quite a nice effect you've got that sort of white drop sh a little bit of a white drop shadow mm -hmm. but what i i did with mine and again everybody's different i then just went round and i colored in all those gaps just to make sure that there was no white showing just and I love crafting like this where you you know where you can just get in with your inks and you don't have to you know you don't have to be too exact mm -hmm. it's all about you know it just looks better when there's no white bits showing off so just pop it through there just all the way through just making sure and I can guarantee you when you t pick it up and turn it around you'll probably see some bits that you've missed 
but don't worry about that. You can always go back in and do them. Let's just go in there. There we go, all the way through, just getting all those bits. Like I say, it's entirely up to you whether you do this bit, but I don't like seeing the whites of my die cuts. So I'd just like to, to finish it off just like that. And then just come round the edge. Talking about party food again. Okay. Betty Weaver says, Halloween is second only to Christmas for hubby. I have done finger cookies and eyeball cheese balls. Um, his favour, my sheet pan pizza scapes. A graveyard was the last one. I'd quite like to see that. Uh, um, uh, no, pa uh, a sheet pan pizza scape. I like the idea of that. Mm -hmm. do, do, do for, for Christmas as well, couldn't you? That kind of, whole kind yeah. of idea. Send us some pictures. We'd like to see those. We'd love to see those. Yeah. I love yeah. how this is coming on. This is... Um, Really pretty. It's almost like it's made out of wood. Yes, that's the that's the, I love doing that effect with mm. with um, die cuts. And again, this pen could do with being a bit juicier, but we can we can make it work. There we go. Just going in all those little bits and round the edges. Just colouring. Oh, look at that. Colouring that in. Just going to see if there is a light green in, there it is, in the bullet nib, just to see if that will get, that actually might get into the, those gaps a little bit. It's a bit more rigid, isn't it, for the bit, mm. for those bits. And then round the edges, just so that you've not got any, or not too much white showing. Not trying to get it perfect, but just covered a little bit. There we go. I think that mm. should. Can you see? Now we've covered coloured that. Yep. Yes, you've got white on the back, but we're not going to see that in a minute. Great. It looks lovely. So all you need to do with that, dot your tape pen one final time. All the way. Make sure you get plenty on this time. All the way over. And then we're going to bring this one in and then we're going to pop it on to there like that and then there is look at that nice and robust lovely. embellishment with all of, look at how it sparkles mm. isn't that lovely there we go great so we've now made our backing paper and we've now made our embellishment excellent so there we go we're so cracking along now we are we are right so which was the bit i was going to do right the next bit i wanted to do was to make my box so if you want to make it the same size as i've done you're going to need two sh well you're going to need three in total but for the box you're going to need two sheets of a3 mm -hmm. so we can do that so what you need is nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter nicola we've got some good measurements We've got some good measurements going on here. Becky's looking at what you're on about. Yeah, I don't know what you're on about. Just be prepared. Oh, no, I can't. I went, it, it just, Cohen's like Carol Vorderman. <laughs> and, and I had the embarrassment of sitting with her on the sofa while we were watching some game show this morning. You know, yesterday. That's nice. And she was like, blub, 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 <laughs> blub, and just answers like that. <laughs> no, only on the easy one. I, I came in for the 1% question last night and couldn't get it. Oh, did you not? I didn't get the 1%. I was very disappointed. I came back down. Yeah. We were watching the 1% club. Right, nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. That's why I had that funny bit left over earlier. I've remembered now just from that bit. <laughs> right, box base and exactly the same for box lid and nine and a quarter you've got some nice big pieces of card left over but it's just unfortunate if we want unless you want to make your box half the height mm -hmm. you're not going to get it out of a4 right but then if you do it half the height you've got some really little pieces to be cutting yeah. for mats and layers I do tend not to do too... And when you spend all that time making that beautiful paper... Exactly. ...your coloured cards, you want to be able to see it, don't exactly. you? Exactly. There we go. So, we've got two at nine and a quarter. So, 
this could be done on your smaller scoreboard, but why make life difficult for yourself? We're going to do it on our larger scoreboard. And I'm just going to grab my pencil while we go. And I'm just going to put an L on there straight away so that I don't forget. L for lid. So as you know, with your scoreboards, box lid, we're doing on the left-hand side. And each of these are going to be scored at two inches. So we've got nice, deep sides to here. Two inches. Turn it round two inches. There we are. Hold it nice and tight. Two. And again. Now I'm not going to go much further. I'm going to just do my cutting, but I'm not going to go much further with this in a minute because we're going to do all, just like we did this morning with our box, we're going to make all the edge, all the mats and layers first. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to do base, which is on this side. So we're going to press it up against that side, make sure it's nice and tight. And we're going to go to two inches on that side, which is that one. There we go. And just there. We obviously, we, we tend to come further. It's much easier to come further down the scoreboard because you're nearer the, um, the numbers. And then, again, at two. Linda says she's going to try some glossy highlights when Ooh, she does this. That'll look nice. And um, Pamela says, good afternoon, everyone. This craft along looks fab. It is. Thank you. It's absolutely fab. There we go. Right. So that's my scoring done for now. We ha will have some more scoring to do when we do that belly band in a minute. Sorry. Drop that. <laughs> but what I'm going to do then is I'm going to cut these. So as you know, what we tend to do is we tend to cut a little triangle off that side. And I'm just going to cut just on the inside of that line, just to cut, take that slither off. So I'm going to cut a triangle out on that side and instead of cutting it on the line I'm just going to cut it to the inside of that line all the way around. now you can do them I always used to do my boxes where I'd, I'd cut two down once on one edge but now I, I tend to do them more you know one on each corner yeah because I used to if I'd done that one there I'd do this one on that side I don't know why I've changed but I have and then just take a bit off there there we go. So this is the base because I've not got my L on it. So let's just put that on there. Just make sure, just make sure that these pieces are lining up and then you know you've got it square because that's quite, and if it isn't quite square, you just need to adjust it ever so slightly. Oops, sorry. If it's not quite square. There we go. So that's going to be my base. Oh, there's my lid. I'm going to do exactly the same with the lid. Take that corner out and then cut there. But I'm sure lots of you have seen us do boxes so many times. But I mean, maybe you're going to do this as a gift bag. Mm. You know, it's, it's entirely up to you. I might cut a little bit much off that one. Oops, never mind. We'll make it work. I always think, uh, I like the idea um, that you were saying before, she had some of that paper left over, didn't you? You made a card. Yes. Being able to make, put notelets in them. Yeah. That's a lovely idea. Yeah, I thought that would be quite a, a nice bit. And if you could, I, I didn't have to think about it. I just, it just worked quite well. It wasn't a case of really working out where to cut it from to make sure I had a piece left over. There was mm. just naturally a nice piece left over. So there we go. So that's going to be our lid. So let's just put those to one side. And then we need the mats and layers. So I'm going to put this on here so that our George can come in on that. I'm going to stand back. Now, if you want it, it already definitely on my Instagram. I'm pretty certain I put it on Facebook as well. I might have run out of time. So we are currently, we've just done that. I'm actually going to jump to here and then we'll come back to that one in a minute. There we go. So those are, take a screenshot and that is what we're going to do. 
You don't know how long that took me to get fractions in a table. It did not like it. <laughs> did not like it. There you go. So hopefully everyone's got that. Ready? Yep. Okay. Brilliant. So what we what I have used is I have used Centura Pearl um, Glitter Ivory. And, and I'm sure I needed more than one piece. And then in the country lane, I didn't use the pink, I used the red. Oh, I've okay. only got two sheets, so I'm going to have to be careful. I used the red. Can you see the slight difference in colour? So I just like that. But you could use the green, because that would work really well, wouldn't it? It's, it's entirely up to you, but those are the colours that I used. Do you just need to ch check in with Gemma, or shall yeah, we shall carry we just, on? Shall we see how Gemma's doing? Hi, Gemma. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I didn't quite have a butterfly finish, but I'll yeah. go back to that later. Right. Okay. I didn't and want to miss. I didn't want to miss hearing the measurements for right. my boxes and mats and layers. Okay. So, but you're keeping up more or less then. More or less. I've yep. just got. Because I went with the craft card yeah. instead, so I've just got that to put on and then put that together. Oh, yeah. But apart from that, I'm more or less up to date. Oh, that's only going to take a few seconds. Yeah, to that up. looks great. Look very much like that. And the cat's enjoying the crafting. And then? And your cat's enjoying the crafting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's gone now. <laughs> whereabouts are you? We didn't ask where you were. Whereabouts are you in the UK? Oh, Lincoln. Lincoln. All right. Have you got yeah. nice weather there? Um, it's been really sunny, but it just keeps coming overcast. And yeah. then, yeah, but it's, it was raining this morning, but it's lovely. It's quite nice now. Good, good. I'm, I'm glad you've got good weather. <laughs> where, where I sit, right in my window, is making me feel so hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. We're glad you're keeping up. Um, right, we're going to go, carry on with it, carry yeah. on with the. Um, sorry, yep. so we'll carry on now and see where we get to. Okay, I'll come back to you in a few so, moments. For the top of the box, the box is five. So if you look back at here, we had nine and a quarter, and we've taken two inch sides off each side. So that's four inches a side. So that means that our top is five and a quarter. Mm -hmm. So our first mat is just going to be a five inch mat. Really, really easy. So we're going to cut this and we're going to cut down here and I'm going to cut myself a five inch mat. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to go the other way for a minute. I'm going to go that way. I'm going to go lengthways because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go five inch mat down there and then I'm going to go a five inch mat down there. Now, for the sides, that's two inches. Mm -hmm. So we need, let me just check it. Yeah, we need four, so whatever we do, because this is square, if it was rectangular, it would be two lots of twos, but because yep. it's square, four, and they need to be one and three quarters, because we've just gone down quarter of an inch. Okay. So the reason I turned my card around is because that is already cut at five. So it would be, it would be five by one and three quarters. Mm -hmm. So I've got this. So it's really easy to do so we just need to go to one and three quarters which is there we won't get them all I don't think we quite get them all I think I can get three out of here one make sure it's nice and square two uh, I'm not going to get my fourth one I might three going to miss it by a whisker look at that Ooh, oh just by a, a whisker shame. that's a shame isn't it so I have to cut another one here to five by oh, sorry excuse that one and three quarters I was trying to work out the best way on my feet then to get all of those out of there so those for my box are the first layers and yep. then we're going to do exactly the same with the gold. But this time, so if we've just done five, so it's going to be four and three quarters by four and three quarters, and yep. then four and three quarters by one and a half. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, doesn't it? It does make sense. So yep. that should mean, if my thinking's right, we should get, what do you say, four and a half? Four and three quarters. Yeah, four and three quarters. I think we'll get them all out of this strip now. 
Okay. I think. Because we were so close before, weren't we? It was only a smidgen out, wasn't yeah. it? So four and three quarters. And then we want one and a half. Now, sometimes, so one and a half times four is six. That, I can work out that bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to the nearest half and I'm going to trim that. So we've got nice whole numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, so if this is at six and a half, mm. one and a half less is five. Because I just find that easier to measure that way. Yeah. I find it easier to subtract than to mess around with small bits. So one and a half from five is three and a half. And then two. Now I'm going to be careful here. Yeah. It's going to go there. And then I'm just going to have to measure that one at one and a half. It's just it's quite difficult sometimes to get it under that band. There we go. There we are. So that is my gold. Yeah. They've all cut up lovely. And the next one we need to do is the pattern. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we've gone down in quarter of an inch. So we're now at four and a half by four and a half. And then four and a half by one and a quarter. Really easy. So just pick the bit that you really like. Which side? You'll always, when you've done something like this, you'll always find ones that you like the best. I will, comf I will go over all these measurements again in just a minute. Don't throw these away because you're going to need all of these in a few minutes. By, what did we say? Four and a half, wasn't it? And then we're doing one and a quarter. So let me just... I'm just going to tidy that up to seven. There we go. I'm going to just drop that down by one and a quarter. I'm going to drop that to one by one and a quarter. One and a quarter. And one and a quarter. There we go. So I've now got four pieces by four and a half by one and a quarter and one at four and a half by four and a half. So Excellent. Those are those pieces. Now, is anybody asking any questions about that? Shall I go over those measurements again, just so? I don't think it will hurt. Um, I, yeah, I've not seen any questions coming through at the moment, but I don't think that will hurt um, to go through them again. Okay. Should I just say, wow, your I love your spreadsheet. It's so neat and tidy. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Shadaya. All right. So just to confirm, in the red, I've got five by five. Mm -hmm. And then these are five, uh, four of these at five by one and three quarters. Yep. Then we went gold. So because that was five, that's now four and three quarters. You can just see look, that bit there by four and three quarters. So these are four and three quarters in length by one and a half in width. Move that up there. So then the next one we've gone is four and a half by four and a half. And you mm -hmm. can just see how each one keeps going a little bit smaller. Then it's four and a half by one and a quarter. So you can just see how those are working down. Lovely. Perfect. And each of those, you are then just going to do your mats and layers. So we might as well do those next. How are we for time? Yes, because looking at the time, better not take too long. So let's just mat and layer those up. So that's easy to do. And I'm just using my tacky glue. You can use your, um, what do you call it? What's that one called? What's my glue called? All-purpose purpose. glue, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Barbara says, why is Corinne using both ends of the style, a stylus? What side does she use first? I used the fat, yeah. and then I went in with the thin one. Right. Because the fat one put the, a big groove down yeah. and stretched those fibres. Yeah. And then the skinny one, the smaller, so I went with the... Big, the ball end, it's, yeah. it's a small ball, but I went with the small end first to stretch the fibres and put a path. Yeah. And then I went with the sharper end to put more of a detail in. Ah, okay. If you go in with the sharper end, if your card's not that thick, you'll go straight through it. Right. So use the fat end to stretch the fibres first and then add the detail with your smaller end. Okay. It's just... 
Yeah. Another one of those things that you, you autom I automatically do again without thinking about it. So yeah. sorry I didn't explain that. And then that's going to go... Well, that's looking beautiful. On there. Colin said, um, I love this project. It oh, is looking you. really nice. And I love the fact that you've made your own paper. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you've... You know, what we're doing, you could potentially have just found a paper that you liked and, and done what mm. you did. But how much more rewarding is it when your paper matches your die cut uh -huh. and you know that you've done it yourself? So you, the colours are, you know, it's totally personal. Um, a lot of people have a favourite sort of colourway. So this means that you can make it right for them, can't you? Yeah. And, yeah, I just... Well, it just for me it was just about making it a little bit more personal well particularly if you if you've missed out on a paper pad um and you've not been able to get hold of it or you know you've you've used it all up but you still have the dies and everything else in the yeah. collection this is just going to make everything go a little bit further isn't it It does doesn't it or maybe you're you're new to crafting with this and you you've seen something that launched a while ago um you've you've picked up bits and pieces when they've been on special offer um, but you know the, the paper pad sold out years ago before you even sort of started crafting yeah. and th this again you know it allows you to create something that's uniquely yours yes yeah um, exactly it, it, it's got a totally different sort of feel to it it's um, super modern the colors are lovely um, and it, you know like you say you can then mix and match it with the colors that are appropriate to that particular person I like to you know when we do craft alongs mm. obviously you, you, we did five demos on the last show and we'll mm. do we've got second chance Sunday later and we'll do some demos on that yeah but we have to we get through multiple demos in the shows and you know because it's about seeing all the different products and mm. getting through those whereas it's lovely to do this and to have that time to be able to do things like make the papers and yeah. you know you wouldn't see us you'll often see us when we're doing boxes in the main show we'll have all of these mats and layers done because there isn't time to do that because no. it's those shows it's all about seeing as many products as possible mm. whereas for now this is all about taking our time and making something that you perhaps wouldn't have the time for us to make normally so it's just just a nice bit of fun. Uh, so we're on to our last mat and layer. There we go. So your all-purpose glue would work really well with this because it'd make it nice and firm. But you just have to be careful. That's not that's my scrap piece, wasn't it? There we go. I was like, why did that not fit? <laughs> um, that was weird because I knew that that shouldn't be the case. That that should work. So I knew straight away that I'd done something wrong there. Um, yeah, it's just really nice to be able to take the time and do something a little bit different. And then pop that one on there. There we go. Right, I just... Now, <laughs> lots of you have seen me do this before, and I didn't put Brea on the list, but you've seen... Oh, look at that one, it's just moved. I bought one of these after I saw you using it. Did you? Show. Yeah, I did. So all I'm going to do now is that glue's had a minute to grab. All I'm going to do is I'm going to roll over this. Make sure I flatten that glue out as much as possible. Make sure there's no bits lifting. Um, and it just... So if we look at that, I can see that's lifting up a little bit at the end. But if I roll to that end, any glue that's underneath we'll just roll to the edges just be careful because if you put too much glue on it does just ooze out but it just means that everything i can see straight away my layers are a lot flatter um and i just think they just look so much more professional and this is something i do all the time when i'm at home when i'm making cards for myself you know and i've got time yeah, because we have loads of time to be making cards for ourselves, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> so let's put that on to here. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I want to show you um, how I came across my measurements for my, my, my belly band. So we can pop this onto here. And again, I love this because we've got the same quarter of an inch all the way, throughout, all the way round. 
and what I thought, right, what this would be a good place to let everybody sort of just catch up. Mm -hmm. um, now, just make sure, we know these are exact, so just make sure everything lines up along the sides and along the edges. There we go, we can do that. I did cut that one a bit wonky. I said at the time I thought I'd cut it a bit wonky, but it'll have to do. Hopefully you'll cut yours nice and straight. And that one, making sure they're all lined up. And just there. Just lining those up. And this, you know, can you imagine, you couldn't do, you couldn't put that same sort of pressure on your mats and layers if you'd, if you'd put your box together. No, that's Whereas very true. This way you can really get some pressure. So I'm just gonna put that to one side for 30 seconds while we just bring in our base. We're gonna put our base together. Again, when I was at home, I'll just show you now. I've got, you'll know these, you'll use these all the time, our, um, our Becky. I've just got, I have them clipped onto my bag. Now, either do this with, um, do this with tape pen. Yeah. You're perfect. But if you've got something like the little clips, then you can just come in. As we all know, tacky glue is as strong a glue as you can get. So all I would do is I would just go on like that and like that. Like I say, if you haven't got clips to hold it or little pegs, mm -hmm. just go with your tape runner, your tape pen. It'll work equally as well. We Those go. little clips are great, really handy. Yes. Do you use them in paper crafting? Uh, I, I do, and I also, I also use them for clipping my microphone back on. Do you? Um, around, yeah, if I've got it sort of um, round the back. But yeah, I find them really useful. When I was making, I was doing that cartonage the other week where I was covering um, grey board with fabric um, oh, yes. and um, gluing it together. And then they were absolutely invaluable. They're really handy just for holding everything and all the structure together. And they don't make marks on your card. No. They're not so tight as to, you know, like a bulldog clip. Yes. Um, where it almost sort of pinches your card. Exactly. Um, they're very, very handy. Um, yeah. Worth getting. Um, probably got some on the website. Yep, yeah, I've just got a pack and I do do those like that. So this one now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inner clip off, just have the outer clip, so just there, so that I can then use, I've only got eight with me. At home I've got quite a lot more. <laughs> just bend those down. You should have said I've got some in the car. It's all right. <laughs> I've got, yeah, run in the rain to the car, Becky, quick. Well, I'm hoping it's stopped raining now. I can't hear it now. It was it was so loud when we first started. Um, I, I couldn't really hear what Corinne was saying. I just kept nodding. Did you? No, I didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> yes, whatever you say. Yes, I agree. No, I didn't do that. I'd be just rude. <laughs> and then we can pop that on here. So we'll just stick these three down, and then we can give everybody a chance. I don't want people to be feeling like they're they're racing to catch up and missing any bits. So you can see just on there and then we will do the belly band that goes round oh that's come off for a minute the belly band that goes round the outside because that's that's probably the the trickiest little bit okay just because it's a bit more fiddly in in measurements morning Nicola now that's the fiddly, <laughs> fiddliest measurement because we just need to do everything we've done but plus an eighth of an inch, you see. Okay. So, there we are. Right, so I've got my lid yep. and I've got my base. And we're just going to give those a few minutes to dry. And Fantastic. Then come back in a minute. That's brilliant. Okay, well, we'll give you a couple of minutes to catch up um, and we will see you back in a couple of moments. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Roll, 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 
Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family Hello everybody, welcome back. Hopefully that gave you a couple of moments just to get back to um, finishing off that craft along um, to the stages that we're at. And we're almost finished really. We've only sort of got the last um, little bits and pieces to do. So good for time. Um, lots of people loving what you're making. Fred171 says, morning everyone, how is Cory Nations? Cory Nations coming along. Um, and Zoe Carver says, um, I think it's going to be a crowning glory. Very good. Excellent. More, more coronation puns or please. coronation puns, um, please. Um, we're going to carry on with We the are. We are. Right, now, so what we're going to do is we need to make the band to go around it. So this is the finished one, so we need to make this band. Now, the box is five by five, and then the depth is two inches. Mm -hmm. Now, 
on our scoreboard if we do five by five it's obviously going to be the same size and we've got the mats and layers so it's not mm -hmm. going to fit so i thought so we've got five by five and then we've got um, five by two inches for the sides so i thought how about we put on one eighth of an inch yeah so we need um so our band across the top has now gone to five and one eighths across yep. there and then the that way was two inches if you remember so that's now yep. going to be two and one eighths of an inch yeah so it's going to go that way one two three four yeah so we need two times five and one eighth and two times two and one eighth so that's four lots of one eighth so that's one five ten eleven twelve this minute five ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so that's 15 inches piece is going to go around but that's not going to meet mm -hmm. so we're going to stick on plus one okay so if we we need a piece of card 16 inches long did that okay. make sense and yep. went very fast so it's yep. basically all the way around plus an extra eighth plus an uh, a one inch Boom. overlap is what my head's doing no it makes perfect sense so and then it can be any width you want it to be but i thought i would quite like i wanted those to be squares yeah so if that's two and one eighth that's going to be two and one eighth so it's going to be 16 by two and one eighth all of those measurements we're on here, so sh show you. So you can't do that from a piece of A4 card. It's got to be from A3, unless you want to join it. Because mm -hmm. obviously A4 card is only 11 and a little bit inches mm -hmm. long. So I thought we'd do that. So all I've done is I've just cut off a little piece off here. So this was A3 before. So, but I want it to be 16 inches and my uh, measure only goes to 13 yeah so the easiest way and I'll show you the easiest way I found to do it was so that's why I cut this down it's gonna I'm gonna use a lot less actually I, let me just work out it's gonna be so if I cut it to about there let's cut it to that so we can go all the way down here so we're not wasting all this card so this piece can be used for something else so I'm just gonna cut it just a bit bigger than my t I've measured that to about three inches look just over three inches that's fine so all I'm going to do making sure I put my square end to the side can you remember we want the width of our box which is five mm -hmm. plus one eighth of an inch so if you think about it one eighth of an inch is just one of those little mm -hmm. scores there we go so our next one is two have I done that right two and uh get that wrong I've just done that the wrong score line I'm gonna put that again do that again because it should be it's not five and it's five and a half plus one eighth there we go sorry I got that wrong so it's, there we are uh, five and a half yes five and a half yes and then at seven and a half because that's the extra two mm -hmm. plus an extra eight then I'm going to fold that over and I'm going to do exactly the same fold that over because it's gone off the edge of my scoreboard and then I'm going to score at five and so that's and three eight five and there it should go there and then seven and a half again and then I've just got an extra little piece on here to use as I want to my one inch piece so I can cut that to one inch okay so that should be my perfect so when that folds up yep yeah, that folds over so I've got five and five and three eighths there so it shouldn't be it should be I put five and three eighths I think Gemma's got a question yes. for us okay hi Gemma I've got a bit lost yeah okay okay that's right because it wasn't five and a half i've got myself all in eight okay we'll recap those measurements yeah. can I'll we go again. Yeah. i'll go again right. right okay it was on that piece of paper so let me just cut it it's me I've, I've what i did was i just confused myself with how wide my box was and it wasn't five and a half was it it was, was five it five five and a quarter five and a quarter that's what threw me so so, so how wide do i need to do it two and a quarter we will do in a minute, but I'm just cut it. I've just cut a piece, so it's just um, ju just make it about three. Just cut it roughly about three inches wide to begin with, and then we'll trim it down in a minute. Because no, you can't okay. trim. You can't trim 
something that long in your paper trimmer, can you? Because it's yeah. going off there. Yep. So this is why I've done that. So I've got another piece. I'll start again. So let's do it again. So it was five and a... I am getting it right now. Sorry. Five, five and, and a quarter. quarter, which is to there. Yep. And one eighth, which is one did. So it's five and three eighths. There we go. There. Then we want... So it, we then want... Where were we? we? It was too wide. Yeah. So we need two plus one eighth. Yeah. So one eighth is going to take us to five and a half. So it's then at seven and a half because that's your two. Okay. So five and I had got my measurements right. It was all on here. So sorry, sorry, it's me doubting myself. So we score at five and three eighths and seven and a half. And I had got it completely right on there because I double checked. So I'm going to fold that over, making sure it's square. Five and three eighths and then seven and a half. And obviously this is wider than our, our card, so we're going to put that one up to there and then we're going to start again with five and three eighths and seven and a half. Does that make sense? Yeah. Clear as mud. Yeah. <laughs> it does make total sense. It does make so sense. I will just show you what we've got. So what I did was from the end, five and three eighths and then seven and a half. Yep. Because we've now gone off the end of our board, so we've folded it over, butted that up to the end, and we've done five and three-eighths again, and seven and a half. If, um, if it, you found it easier, could you do that first measurement, score it, then fold it over, and then move yeah. it to the side and do it yeah. like that, so you're not adding into those yeah. measurements? Well, that, yeah. Yeah, then yeah. you can do it that way as well. Yes, exactly. Okay. So now, all I'm going to do is fold that over, bring it to my trimmer, and then we wanted, ah. now you see. Now you can fit it in there. Now we can fit it in and we wanted two and one eighth. So remember, these are quarter inches. So it's literally halfway through that first little square after two. Mm -hmm. Halfway through. And that is now, there we go. And then all I want to do as well, or I can keep that how it was. That's fine. So that's going to overlap. And can you see that is now yeah. a perfect Belly band. Lovely. Right. Right. Nicola, we've not started yet. <laughs> okay, so we now need a we now need our mats and layers. Oh gosh, okay. Okay? Yeah. They're here. But they're all in eighths, so you just gotta be careful. So you so our topper, the bit that goes on here, is in that you can pick whatever size you want. So for Gemma if your butterfly is a little bit bigger, you might need this little bit a little bit bigger. I'm going to Hi. put hmm, to fit the butterfly on. If your butterfly is a bit bigger than my flower, this might need to be a little bit. Everything else will be the same, but this little piece might need to be a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Just because you've got a bigger one. So I'm doing three and three quarters um, for my red, and then I'm going to do three and a half for my gold. So I'm going to okay. cut those out first. And that's going to be the top bit. So what did we say? Three and three quarters. There we go. Three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then I'm going to do one here at three and a half by three and a half. So those are nice and easy figures to remember. And that's going to be my topper. And those are just going to go on the top and they're going to go on top and where's my rose my rose is over here and that's going to go on there just like that mm -hmm. okay easy now we've just got to do these now we haven't got that long so we'll try and get these as quickly as possible i've got them on here so you've got your and even tell i've even written down that you need two of each so it's one seven eighths by five five and one eighth in the it's under the red column and one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths on there so all we've done is gone down by a quarter of an inch each time. Please don't pull a face at me, Becky. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I find it, since I've started working here, I have to work in inches. I've never worked in inches before. Haven't you? Even, even when I sewed, I didn't ever use inches. Um, oh, wow. I've always used centimetres. And I, I've now got to like, re, re remember how to do things in yeah. um, fractions, which I've always found a bit of a, bit of a problem. But yeah, always centimetres, not inches. I'm, I'm, I am following it. I do know what you mean. I, I'm getting there. Well, so you always worked in centimetres? Yeah, always. Hmm? Always. Did you? Yeah. I did before. That's because I'm so much younger than everyone else here. <gasps> this is true. <sighs> I didn't say that. It was true, wasn't it? It's not true. 
I'm not. I, I'm nowhere near near the youngest. Um, but yeah, I think just at school, um, everything was in centimetres. And even when I was at college um, doing textiles, I, we still worked in centimetres. We didn't work in inches. Yeah. I think it's quilting is particularly in inches, and then card craft always seems to be in inches. But um, yeah, I do find it a bit of a, um, a bit mind-boggling when I'm trying to work yeah. out things. But now I try and I do try and think in inches more than I used to. So you can see these look fit absolutely oh, yeah. perfectly on there. So all we've done is whatever size you make your belly band, we've just gone down by quarter of an inch. We're still doing our exact same quarter of an inch mats, so that's going to go there. So I've got my four red ones. Two, two, two squares and two rectangles. I'm going to do the same in the gold. So the gold is one and five eighths by four and seven eighths and one and five eighths by one and five eighths. So really easy to do there. So we can just do. So if you think about it, four eighths is half. Four eighths is a half, isn't it? So yeah. we're just going half a block up from one and a half mm -hmm. by one and seven eighths. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that twice. One and what did I say? Where was I at? I've forgotten one and five eighths, so that's there. So I'm going to cut two of those and then I can even speed it up by putting them one on top of each other if you want, but and that needs to be four and seven eighths. So that's just a quarter off number five, a tiny look, half a block off five inches. Mm -hmm. And then we needed just a fraction over what um one and a half sorry one and a half and then we're going just over a fraction over there and that's going to be my two gold ones so we've got two gold two long gold ones and two short gold ones let's get rid of those don't need that and then we're going to do exactly the same with our patterned which is this column, look, I've even written pattern. So it's one and three eighths by four and five eighths and one and three eighths mm -hmm. both sides. So again, nice and easy. Now, can I get, I'm gonna try doing it this way. Can I get, no, I can't. It's gonna have to be that way. Gonna have to be that way. So where are we? One and three eighths. So we just said four eighths is a half. So it's just half a block shy that way and go to there and then I want four and five eighths just one and we want another one four and five eighths just there and then we should make want this to be square which is going to go just there and then I can do one out of this piece here there we go Turn that round. It seems Just. such a shame to cut up that beautiful paper. It is. Now I've cut this one differently because I've not got a nice piece to do my um, note look like I did before. So, but there we are. So all we're going to do is I'm going to get these done, and if you, I might not get time to actually stamp the sentiment, but we've nearly finished. Mm -hmm. So all I'm going to do is mats and layers onto here, and we've made sure we're still following exactly the same colour order. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Otherwise, that really, that's the sort of thing that bothers me. So I've gone red, gold, pattern all the way through. Whatever you do, as long as you follow the same colour yep. pattern, then it'll look really lovely. So we can mat and layer these onto here. Lillian Kwok says, my head implodes when I hear her fractions and stuff. I know what you mean. I, I need to see it written down. Um, yeah, so that's great that we've got and we've you've put the measurements and everything on definitely on Instagram We're going to check about Facebook, but it will be up on Facebook won't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think once you see them You've got them. To it hand. just makes it to the, all I've done is gone down by a quarter, quarter of, an of an inch on yeah. each one But all we've done is for the belly band It's just gone up by an eighth of an inch because we don't yeah. want it to be saggy. We just want it to be To just to fit nicely yeah, that makes sense. So look at that. So it's still got that lovely quarter of an inch border which is what we tend to to do most of the time put those on here and again just like we did with the box we're not going to try and make the belly band up until we've got everything put on it can you adopt that same principle of the way you've done that that's a patterned paper on vellum can you 
um, use your inks on vellum and create vellum like that? Yes, but certain certain inks are going to stick better on them. So you, like right. your your water, your opaques mm -hmm. are probably never going to dry. Right. Or going to take a long time to dry. If yeah. you, if I was doing it on vellum, I'd possibly use something like my quick dry inks. Okay. Just to try and speed it up. Um, yeah. So yes, you could. would get that same kind of look with that resist. Yeah. With that on there. Yeah. Okay. It's just finding a medium that's going to to dry nice and you know yeah. nicely on there. But um, yeah, I did I did a um, a glitter craft along one our glitter paste craft along a while back, and we did um, we we did glitter paste on tabellum which looked lovely mm. when that dried, and we wrapped it round a candle. So, you know, you can... Is that the one that's behind you on the... Is that yes. Your, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can use it in the same kind of way, just yeah. takes longer to dry. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not absorbent in the same way, no. is it, as paper card? Terry Anderson says, I must say, Corinne's organisation is stellar. I'm able to follow her exactly. You do. You are very organised. And Shadaya says, um, Becky, I love maths. Sorry, math. So fractions do not bother me. I could also work out in metres and centimetres. Oh, that's good because I. It's difficult. Some, generally speaking, you do one or the other, don't you? Yeah. Um, not both. Um, we pick, we bought um, a poster the other mm. day when we went we went to the. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. The Van Gogh experience. Oh yes, immersive experience. We went to that. Brilliant. I, I would recommend it to anybody mm -hmm. that loves that. It was really good. And I bought we bought one of the posters at the end and I needed a, uh, I needed a frame to put it in and uh, I rang my husband and I said I've forgotten to measure it and I'm at the shop and I said I want it in inches he went inches really I was like yes <laughs> I want it in inches <laughs> there we go <laughs> yeah, no, he, I still I oh, I'm, cause, I'm cause sure when you buy things like that when you buy frames they have them in inches and centimeters yes, they don't do. they they don't they just do, do. I know they did say at one point they were going to get rid of all inches were in they? the UK. Yeah, there was, it's not going to be the case and oh, wow. shops were going to be fined. But that's not, that's not the way it is. No, no, no but you know, no. people work in different ways. They do, they do. Everyone does. Right, OK, I'm just mindful of time. So I've stuck those on there. Now, this is really easy to fold up. So all I'm going to do is at that sort of halfway line, I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to fold that one back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my glue, wet glue or your tape pen. It's entirely up to you. That's going to go on there, and then this one should then just, and look at that, look how square it's come out. You see, it's, it's all fitted, absolutely perfect. Just give that a burnish, and then that has made my belly band. Great. Works absolutely every time. So let's just pop this onto here, so we can put my box together, which is, that tacky glue is lovely and dry now. Put that one on there. That's going to go onto there. Then my belly band should just, oops, come on, go round. There we go. That's going to go, look at that, just caught on one of my, there you are. Look at that. Look how snug that is. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So then we have got these two. Let's do these mats and layers. I'm not going to stamp my sentiment out on this one, but you can. I'll show you my finished sentiment in one minute. I think we've done pretty well to say we've made our own papers. Yeah. And then that, I'm going to stick. Now, the, for me, the easiest way to do it, I'm going to put my... don't want those ones because that's a double one. I'm going to actually put my foam pads onto the belly band. And then I'm going to put one on there, one on there. Make sure my belly band's in the middle. Take this off here and then this should you can line it up with the center of the box just like that then i'm going to get a couple more foam pads put them on the back of my flower and that's going to go whichever way you want it to i'm going to pop it just there and then i'll just show you just because we're running out of time on here i've just put a sentiment on i put a couple of pearls just on there. I've only put them on those three places, but I just thought that finished it off perfectly. Absolutely. That is 
gorgeous i am in awe corinne absolutely beautiful um loads of people loving this steven says loving the box being put together and lois says that was a fun show thank you learned lots of different techniques on there Gemma, how did you get on with um, your make i am a little bit i am a little bit behind but that's the box oh wow oh that is beautiful oh, that looks great i'm loving that and i love now where you've done the pink and the brown with the craft that works really well it does doesn't and it then, i've actually lost my bit of paper that's left from the one i made i can't find it <laughs> the cat's, cat's gone off yeah the cat's <laughs> taken it here somewhere so when i find it i'll um cut them out and pop them on but yeah i've got that far from a band i haven't got the top bit made no so that band i haven't got my square bit made yeah but my butterfly i've actually covered that in yellow shimmer with the oh yes crack cards and then that'll be on the top so it'll be the inside oh, that is lovely well, when you find it and you put it on, please put it onto social media and tag that in myself so we can see. Or send a picture in um, to our Nicola and we can have a look at that in the next show because that would be absolutely lovely. So. I've you. Oh, it's there. Sorry, I'm showing the wrong bit. <laughs> so it was that with oh, there. the cards. Oh, yeah. That's, that is really, the pink and the craft work so well together. They work really well, mm -hmm. don't they? Gorgeous, really gorgeous. Did you enjoy making the backing paper? Did you enjoy making the backing paper? Yeah, I love, I do like to make my own backgrounds. I do quite a lot of my own, so it was perfect one for this for me because I love making, creating my own backgrounds. I just love doing that. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm really right. glad. Really glad. So Fantastic. Great. Yeah, well done. It looks brilliant. Looking forward to seeing it all finished. And of course, anyone that was crafting along with us, please do um, send in your photos and tag or put them on social media and tag Corinne in this so we can see what you're doing with all your different colourways. I do hope you enjoyed that show. Um, thanks very much, Gemma, for joining in. I hope you enjoyed it. You come back for the next one. Yes. Lovely to meet you. Enjoy Thank the you. sunshine. <laughs> thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> Really, um, it's sunny there. What it is it? really sunny. Right, we're going to go for a, a break for a couple of hours, um, and we're going to come back with um, Second Chance Sunday. Lots of things. I have to say, outside the tables are full of goodies ready to show you later on this evening. Do remember double points until midnight um, on Monday, and use Crown Twenty for twenty percent off um, some items on the website. We will see you in a couple of hours' time. <laughs>